I don't know what's going on, guys. Some of you guys are calling this thing to be like actors and streamers starter pack. <laughs> like, what the hell is going on, guys? Look at this crap. And you guys are also telling me about the fact that Call of Shame has went bozo at the homie Batman, Bad Boy Beeman. Bruh. He's a Batman off of our community, and still to this day, Swag doesn't even know what a radar hack is, guys. Let's go for two likes on the video. Like the video, subscribe, just like the homie. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I better see that speed as well. Like like the video for your boy out here, guys. It been it's been crazy out here, but roll it. Time ago, I exposed several Warzone streamers for being back banned in Counter-Strike. Nah, bruh, not several. You literally exposed everybody at this point though. And they were banned for cheating. Let's get that perfectly clear. Uh -huh. Recently, I exposed the same streamer for having ricochet anti-cheat features within his game, in which enemies turned invisible. Now, giving his history from Counter-Strike, and the fact we can see his- Do they still go invisible? Because I remember in, in the very beginning, yeah, the enemies would surely go invisible because like they're cheating and the anti-cheat would detect them. But for the longest amount of time, like I'm not seeing anybody go invisible. Do you guys uh, actually see people go invisible in your game? Opponents turning invisible, that is identical to the ricochet features, we can make a reasonable claim he has been caught cheating. Yeah. Many Warzone streamers are protected by a whitelist. We saw this hey. during the Twitch leak. Hey, 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 whoa, yo! Bro, stop looking at her burnout like that, bro. Otherwise, I'm gonna come and slap the herpes off your lips, big boy. <laughs> come on, man, like, she mine, bro. Like, stop looking at her burnout, guys. Close your eyes as well. And I created a Call of Duty example to show just how this would look based on the leaked Twitch info. This stops them from being reported by other players and getting shot. So it says Bread Woman, Face Neo, Pie Man. Symphony, D uh, DS Biffle, do not suspend. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that, this is probably, is it real? Or is it like, <laughs> he just made it, made it up. But we do know for the fact that, yeah, they, they do have whitelist, that's for sure. But is this picture real or, or cap? That's what I want to know. This is a fact, and a whitelist is used in many games. Yeah, whitelist is I real. I personally believe there is much more at play within this whitelist that allow streamers to find easier games, have yep, stronger yep. aim assist, and to Damn. avoid ricochet entirely. Man, not even the aliens in the sky can move this fast. My guy be like... Tick, 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 tick. He, he's doing this like that, dog. Not even the aliens can laser. And guys, I've been uploading UFO videos Bruh. every single day on this channel, man. I better see you subscribing there too. Like, I upload UFO content, aliens lasering people, all that content on this one. We have been streaming a lot over on Twitch as well. Now I'm saying, I'm just saying, man. Yeah, I'm just welcome. saying. I would love to have you there as well. Let me send you some. Let me send you some. All right, let's get back here. After all, Activision doesn't want a popular streamer band who plays Warzone daily as its great advertisement. Yeah. And it's cheap too for here them. Here is right? Iceman Isaac. Pretending he has been caught by a ricochet feature, even using the same title, so the search algorithm show this fake clip next to his friend. They are all. So he says, "My character keeps blending. How do I fix this? Anyone else have this bug? Whatever it is, I dislike it. Whatever he is, I dislike it." Okay, I mean that's like Twitter 101. Okay, I mean noted. Noted. Pretending noted, noted, to noted, have a ricochet noted. bug, it's very strange behavior. And they are talking about two completely different features. One is cloaking, and one is splat. The streamers are in panic mode, and I am loving it. Some time ago, when Wagnificent was banned, Ooh, the streamers that. came to his defense, keeping in what? mind he was banned, live on stream. With Jake Lucky, even More stating, like you can't even ban you. the right people. Man, we got like AI talking together, dog. Like, like come on. <laughs> Yo, listen, man, like, that's crazy, bro. We, we love the homie Call of Shame. Simple as that, okay? Simple. Simple, okay? But, yo, what, what's that shorty talking in the background, bro? So, we got AI. We got two AIs in this one, okay? So, that's who are the right people? Anyone but streamers. They can't even ban the right AI. Yo, is that, like, Batman in the background? Oh, shit! Okay, so Jake Lucky says that they can't even ban the right people, so they accidentally uh, ban they accidentally banned somebody else. Bumbaka! Certified Hood Classic, guys. Clap. Claps for Activision, man. Claps for Activision, dog. I am not a Sorry, fan of Bad I'm Boy Beeman, but only on a professional bites. level Sorry. regarding content creation. But I am yet to see a single time he has specifically told anyone to harass a streamer. Sorry. The same goes for Easy Call one. of Shame. We man... Like, I, I don't want to see you guys fighting, though. Like, you guys are the only two uh, hacker hunters in the community. Yeah, we got, like, other, like, we, we got the Flash. 
We, we got Iron Man somewhere as well. We got Captain Canada. That's like eight thoughts, like trying to be hacker hunters. But like, you, you guys are like, you know, Batman, Superman. Like Batman, Superman is like up front. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see like Batman and Superman fighting, guys. <laughs> Like, like, come on, dog. You, you both are my superheroes, bro. You both are my superheroes. I don't want to see my superheroes fight, bro. Simple as that, though. Never state to harass the low IQ streamers. Okay. Actually, it's the opposite. I have even created posts in the past and to is. keep Hold it up. professional. Um, Yet this desperate to stay relevant streamer decided to encourage the community simpletons to collectively target channels designed to expose cheating and corruption among streamers. People that you can harass is Call of Shame and Bad Boy Beeman. <laughs> Yo, that was a homie expel though. No nah, man, come on expel, come on dog. Come on man, like we should not be harassing anybody, dog. It's all, it's nothing but love, man. Joe Woe has recently claimed his mental health is being affected from the hate within the Call of Duty community. Then stop fueling the fire. Haven't you learned anything from Nadia? All these Warzone streamers complaining about mental health. Let me translate this real quick. Everyone's being really mean, and I don't like it. Just be strong and independent. Get those eyelashes like ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm saying? Go get a BBL, girl. It's gonna make you uh, make you feel on top of the world. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna make you feel like dad's princess, though. I'm just I'm just saying. Just go get a BBL and watch the mood be swinging like that. You're gonna feel strong, independent. Okay? Uh, just get the BBL. Just get the BBL. You're in my negative space, and my internal vibes are low. These streamers you know, are just creepy. Sorry. Go on. No, it's fine. I was just saying that fake disguise isn't fooling anyone. It's freaking creeping me out. Oakley Dokley. Me and you both. Meanwhile, remember this guy. The gaming dad Teep had this to say about his friend who has been back banned in Counter-Strike. Spoiler alert. Warzone streamers are known to lie. Facts, facts, facts. Uh, for the people in chat that are out of the fucking loop right now. Uh, yeah. We were playing the other day. Doug got a gulag. The guy was invisible in the gulag. I'm like, oh, that's fucking funny. Post that shit. Ricochet apparently has a feature because they add all these weird ass shit instead of just actually banning yeah, people. Uh, anyways, it was an old feature of Ricochet. Stop talking utter nonsense. This is not a discontinued feature. This is one of the current mitigations of the Ricochet anti-cheat. The way these streamers are behaving is hilarious. They are in full-blown panic mode because someone within streamer world has potentially- But, but still, like, let, let's be real. They're not necessarily gonna get banned, all right? Even if they get banned, they can just make a new account and they're gonna be back. Like, it's just, just it don't even matter no more, right? Like, when you think about it, realistically, like, these things is- When was the last time we heard? I don't think, like, anti- I don't even think that Ricochet now actually bans people because back in maybe it does but we don't necessarily hear about it because like a few months ago right they would always be like yeah we banned 6,000 people 5,000 50,000 50,000 and then Suggis would be co commenting under post while uh, you got 50,000 new accounts getting made tomorrow you know so uh, and now we don't even see those tweets no more uh, I, I don't know whether it's working or not, man, because this game is infested with cheaters. In fact, indeed, like the entire FPS scene is chalked, y'all. It's still by Ricochet, right now, bro. where people would, would, if you were cheating and Ricochet recognized it, it, like actual players would be invisible for you. So people were hopping on that train, which I don't even think that's a thing anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. But I could be wrong. I bet, I bet you yeah. that's long gone. Could be wrong. It's probably could long be. gone. Once probably again, wrong. misinformation, it's not long gone. This feature is currently active within the live mitigations of Ricochet. At this point, you streamers are simply just lying. Activision have already confirmed that cloaking is indeed active in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. So, it says cloaking, damage shield and more will return in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and continue to exist in Warzone. This just okay. proves you streamers have literally no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so clo uh, cloaking is still there. So Harry Potter, Harry Potter cloaking technology is still yeah. there. That's that's good though. That's genius. I would say. I would also prefer like, you know, the matchmaking cheaters versus cheaters, so they get the the taste of their own medicine. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you feel me on that one, man. Cause uh, yeah, bro. Like cheaters better play against cheaters. Then they're gonna understand what it means to get laser like pow pow ta 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 like that. Cause when we shoot our aim is like whoa whoa like that. But you guys are just moving mechanically like that. Ta like that. You feel what I'm saying? What the hell is that, dog? What the hell is that, bro? Also, 
just on that note as well, why do they add these weird ass ricochet features instead of just banning people? Like yep. it's just weird. And that yep. Because they know you're gonna make a new account. I, I I think okay, you know what? I gotta give plus one to Activision. Even though like these cheat manufacturers and cheat cheaters are like always ten steps ahead, but you know what? Okay. You know, slow claps for Activision. I like that. I mean at least because I, I truly do feel like that, you know what, skill-based matchmaking, as, as much as I don't want to see it be in multiplayer, I feel like that there needs to be skill-based matchmaking for the cheater, so if it detects, if it, if the skill-based matchmaking detects that you're cheating in the game, it puts you in with other cheaters, because banning cheaters, not the solution, right? Like, let's be real, guys, let's, am I, am I spitting lies here, am I saying lies, are these even lies, because let's be real, they get banned, they make a new account, okay there's a meme where you know you kill a guy and the guy is like right behind you right like it's it's basically what's happening in the call of duty streets right now that alone and this is a crazy take out of it but like <laughs> why 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 be so weird about it yes, yes. it makes me think like something's going on what a load of nonsense yeah the invisibility feature has never been removed from the ricochet anti-cheat the reason yeah, to be honest, like, I have not been seen, but I guess it kind of makes sense because I don't play Warzone, right, Bruh. so maybe that's why. But yeah, seriously, like, even in gameplays, I don't, uh, and even you, I, I haven't even seen you mention a cloaking feature for a while, till today, till today. I mean, you do mention here and there, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, we don't, we heard about it, like, a year plus ago, right? And it's like, we're now hearing about it again. I mean, I, I like that. Instead of banning people, just uh, get these things match made with other cheaters. And it's going to be hilarious. Like, especially when they're live streaming and that happens. That's going to be content for Kalashin. That's going to be content for me. That's going to be content for Batman as well, though. The reason game be... mitigations are needed is because it exposes streamers that are cheating for everyone to see. The fact you haven't figured that out by now is mind-blowing. This is what Ricochet like has like to say that. about the cloaking mitigation and why it's needed. Mitigations are used to negatively impact the experience of cheaters while also giving our team the opportunity to collect valuable data from the bad actors. This yeah, intel provides actors. the ricochet team. Not just bad actors, those are cheaters, dog. Like, let's not even call them bad actors. Team with valuable information to help combat their behavior in the future. So yay, it's basically a honey trap for cheating streamers to expose them when they go live. Yeah. And I guess it worked. There is nothing better than watching high-profile streamers getting caught live on stream. Man, I, I'm sad. It's hilarious. Yeah, sure. But like, I'm sad to say that this is the only content that's kind of relevant right now in the Call of Duty community. Like, nobody cares about Call of Duty 2024. Nobody cares if Activision is suing that, them, this, or... Nobody cares about whatever is happening in Call of Duty. Seriously, nobody cares right now. At least from what I'm seeing, maybe my bubble is like that right now. Maybe that's what's happening, but... Or I should say, none of you folks care for it! Because recently we had brand new Call of Duty 2024 leaks. I made a video on it, and yeah, the leaks are looking good. I, I get it, like, the leaks are always good. Bruh. The leaks are always good. The games are, in the last five years, have been trash. I get that. But it's like nobody cares about the leaks no more. But it's nothing new. Activision know high-profile streamers cheat. They even state this in their lawsuit against a popular cheat developer. Yeah. Where they specifically mention high-profile streamers. I guess this guy didn't get the memo. What percentage of streamers do you think do cheat? Yeah. Zero. This much. Zero. Yeah, zero. Less than zero. Less than zero, Among the customers yeah. of the cheating software are high-profile streamers of the COD. So let, let's think about it for a second, okay? Less than zero. So still like you know less than less than zero so what number you got in your mind less than zero cheaters so what number you got in your mind dog games living in the u.s this is why we do what we do because streamers lie zero these streamers constantly oh, cry and complain Can about you turn off the music for a quick sec hey yo no hey, it's hey. just i feel really nauseous when i see him it's the whole tash thing he's got going on i mean i'm sorry can't you no, cover it up I or completely something completely understand i mean there could be bugs living in there who knows what's going on yeah. in that little facial okay trail. so oh man come on dog like what are we talking about like though bro like he just have a stash 
<laughs> homie, homie got a high testosterone, or maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe that's fake, or artificial, maybe he grew, uh, grew it once and never really, uh, shaved it, maybe that's what's up, but, you know what, like, come on, man, let a brother have what a brother gotta have. So moving on, these streamers constantly cry and complain about everything. And I won't let them get away with anything, which is why they desperately want this channel gone. Yeah. Why does this guy keep calling me a filthy yeah, little rat? You can I'm scared of that guy He's caught. Yeah, even like Bams was caught as well. I, I, I don't know. Do you guys think Bams cheats or not? Like, that's, I mean, you can surely tell me your opinion. But like, we've seen videos from the Holy Call of Shame, man. Listen, man, those videos were hella suspect. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it, it feels like that Bam also likes to do like that, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, based on the video I've seen, but these might be just accusations. These might just be accusations by yours, uh, yours truly. Call of shame. All of shame. Like, bro, you guys just have no idea. There's what no losers that are going out of their There's way. Not to There's, no lying There's no yeah. lying all all the thing. Thing. Irrelevant the losers. me off. Stop the of you, a bitch. Call of shame is a thorn <laughs> in the side to cheating streamers. Oh no, he's going to another galaxy. Yo, call him. Come on, man. Don't tell me that you're gonna go to another galaxy and find cheaters there too, dog. Come on, homie. And recently, guys, Swag was caught in body live on stream, and we had LAN events from a tournament as well. You're not gonna believe it. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, we also had a massive video here, guys. Check both of these out, and I will see you right there.